All right, welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to set up the jQuery and Ajax that we need to be able to send a new to-do item post request to our API. And then when we get back the data from that request, we can use it to append the list item to the unordered list that has all of our to-do items on the index page. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we wanna do is open up our new.ejs and I'll just change the highlighting here. So we want to take the form here and we can take everything um, from the H1 down to the form or from the bottom to the top so we can get these spaces in here. Um, so we want to take this out, I'll copy it and then over here in the index.ejs we'll change our highlighting and right here above the unordered list, right above that H1, we will add this code in here and I'll go ahead and put a space in here uh, just so we can kind of see what's going on here. Alright, so we have our form and then we have our list of to-do items. So uh, then we have this button at the bottom here that takes us to to-do slash new but now that we've kind of gotten rid of the new form we don't actually need this link so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And up here we have this form uh, it has an action, it goes to slash to do's as a post request, but we need some way to select this specific form with jQuery. That way we can uh, pull the information from the input and then send it to the API or send it to our server with an Ajax request. So I'll give it an ID and we'll just call it a new to do form for now, it should be fine. And I will open up my public directory and go to my ajax.javascript. So we actually have um, some code in here that's for delete. That was from the previous video, so I'll comment that out. And what we're going to want is the um, this code right here. I'm not going to uncomment it. I'm just going to write it from scratch. So I'm actually just going to get rid of all of this code. And what I will do is use the dollar sign and then uh, remember we're using CSS selectors with uh, jQuery's dollar sign method to uh, what I like to call wrap it in cache but to select the item from the DOM or the element from the DOM and then we can uh, add some event listeners to it things like that so in this case we want to select the form and we want to listen for when the form gets submitted so if the form has an ID of new to do form then we'll go ahead and select it and we'll set a submit listener on it. So we just do a dot submit, and then there'll be a function, that's our callback. We'll put E in here. Remember E stands for event, we just shorten it down to E. And so the first thing we wanna do is prevent that form from actually submitting. So we'll do an E dot prevent default, and then we'll um, call that function, or invoke that function with the parentheses. And then on the next line, what we need to do is we'll set a variable var to do item. We can make that D a capital D is equal to. And then uh, we'll use this inside of the uh, dollar sign selector. So this is representative of the item that was submitted. In this case, it's the form. So the form dot, and then we will serialize it. And so what the serialize function does, if you don't recall from an earlier video, is it goes in to the inputs and it pulls the uh, input values from the form at the time that it was submitted and it basically stringifies the um, the values it maps them to their names uh, name attributes rather and then we're able to submit that to the back end the back end takes that um, and uses that to input that information into the database so we will do a this dot serialize and now that we have the to-do item input from the form, we can actually pass it into a dollar sign dot post function. So we'll do a dollar sign dot post, and if you recall, this is going to take a URL or a route that we're going to be posting to. So we will post to slash to-dos, and so we pass that in as a string, and then comma separated arguments here. Uh, our next argument is going to be the actual data that we're passing in. So Normally when you're just using Express and you submit something um, on the back end, we can pull all that data using rec.body. So we're still able to do that, but the way that we patch it, package it up and send it is with this second argument here. So we're gonna pass in the to-do item. 
So this is what we got back from this line here. And that will be our data from the form. And then we're gonna handle whatever comes back from the server. So we'll just call that data. And here we have our callback. It's waiting for this post function to be successful and send some data back to us. Okay, so let's stop here for a quick second. Um, and we'll go into our app.js and take a look at how we're handling uh, any post requests to slash to do's. So inside of app.js, we have a app.post forward slash to do's. So we're taking uh, whatever is sent to us, the rec.body to do.txt, and then we're sanitizing it. Uh, so it's equal to rec.sanitize rec.body.to do.txt. What that does is it stops any type of like script injection. Um, then we're setting that equal to a variable form data and we're passing that into a to do dot create so that's mongoose um, we get back new to do whenever that's done as long as there's no error and here I say okay if it was a Ajax request then go ahead and do a res.json new to do otherwise redirect back to to do's um, you can do that that's fine we're not actually going to have any regular post requests at this point so there's really no need for the if statement here so we can clean it up just by getting rid of that and that and now all we have is okay if there's no error then just res.json send back that new to do item that was created so we'll save this and back here with our ajax.javascript file we can throw a debugger in here if we like oh, there we go and now we'll go into the actual live running application and see what we get back whenever we send a request with this new form that we've moved from the old new view to the index view. So I'm going to pull up my terminal here. We'll get, uh, let's see here, MongoD running. And then I will open up a new tab. I'll run node daemon, or you can just run node app.js. And we'll get our localhost 3000 running. Okie dokie. So Here's this new item, uh, item text, create item. This is the whole form with the H1 that we had. And now if we enter in something here, uh, I'll go ahead and open my developer console. So that's F12 on PC or uh, Command Shift J if you are on Mac. So we'll do a, uh, we'll just do a hello world for the heck of it, okay? And then when we click on create item, all right, so it is paused in the debugger. So we've successfully selected this form We've listened for a submit. When we submitted it, we used the serialize function to pull hello world out of here and map it to the name attribute for that input. And then we submitted that information here and we got back a response from the server. So now if we take a look at data, this object is what we get back from the Mongo query whenever we created the new to-do item. And now we can actually use this information to update the DOM with a new list item.